Hey everybody, Kyle from Bolton E-Bikes back for another video, this time on location in what looks like the middle of nowhere because it kind of is. We are at the La Sierra Electric Bike Festival in Portola, California. So let's go uh, walk around, check it out. We just did some trail riding and the trails were awesome. Had a ton of fun on the bikes that we brought and batteries are almost dead. So it's time to check out what else is here. Okay, so now I'm standing on what basically is the finish line to the racetrack. So nothing going on, it's quiet. I'm not in the middle of a race area. Most of the people are over in the barn over here, uh, doing basically their awards ceremony for all the racing that was going on. So you had anything from class one electric bikes all the way up to some of the unlimited, super powerful mid-drive bikes that were racing around here. So awesome stuff, it's very, very quiet here. It's very laid back. And if you're looking for a laid back type of racing environment where you can just kind of hang out and chill, this is definitely the place to be. I've been to Monterey to the Sea Otter Classic and there's people everywhere. The race lines are just really, really long. It's just kind of nutty in a way, at least to me it is. Uh, but this total, total opposite. You've got anything from just this really nice view where there's just nothing for miles. Uh, and then you've got the racetrack up in the hills back here. So it's a little over six miles for the racetrack. The uh, pro classes are doing two laps around that, but the track itself is pretty diverse. Uh, you've got a lot of this loose, dry, upper desert dirt, so really powdery and soft in some sections. So uh, I liked having the fat tire bike, that helped to not sink into that. Uh, you've got some whoops in there, which were really short and steep. So I heard one of the stealth guys over here uh, cleared multiple of those, uh, something I definitely was not gonna dare to try. Uh, but you can see lots and lots of electric bikes just everywhere, uh, and it just super nice, quiet, peaceful area. So definitely, uh, would have been worth coming out here for a longer period of time and uh, just hanging out for a couple days. If you're really into electric bikes and biking, I would come here, bring as many batteries as you've got and just go ride all day. Because I mentioned the, you know, six miles of track for the races, uh, but I think there's more than 30 miles of trails beyond that. So you could be out here riding all day long, you know, 30 mile trails and then all the different paths and everything that are going around, uh, really awesome. So hopefully I captured some of that for you on the video footage from the bike earlier, and that will show up well. And there goes somebody test riding a stealth bike right now. So that's some of the things you can do is uh, test ride the things that are here. And so there may not be a ton of vendors or anything, but in my mind that's, that's good, it's, it's quiet. Uh, not a crazy show like some of the places I've been to. All right, we are riding the Stealth B52, 6,000 watts. Let's give it some throttle. Ooh. So I'm only giving it a tiny bit of throttle because this thing has a ton of power. And I don't wanna die. And I didn't wear proper helmet attire for going this fast, but let's pick up a little speed. Whew. Gotta be careful with that power, or it'll lift the front wheel right up. And we got a button for the regenerative braking, which is nice. All right, let's do a little short loop on this. Throttle is smooth, but you do have to be careful with it. Because I'm not used to the bike yet, I'm gonna take it easy around these turns. Just kind of give you my first impressions of it, which are, ooh, it's fast. 
So if you are looking for what I would say a light motorcycle is, so like uh, if you're into dirt biking, you'd hop on this thing and have a ton of fun. If you're looking for a bicycle that kind of helps you go a little bit faster, uh, this could terrify you a little bit. But it is, ooh, the suspension is nice. Right over that. And I'm gonna bring it back over there and let my friend Glenn ride it too because what's test riding a bike if you don't let your friends do it too? Yeah, full power. Which, if I had a longer stretch and it wasn't as bumpy, supposedly it would top out around 50 miles an hour. That was fun. And there he goes. So that's the Stealth B52, uh, which is the most powerful model that they sell. I'm pretty sure. I can go double check. We'll ask Ian over here in a minute. Let's see how fast Glenn dares to go by. Oh yeah. It's really tempting, I gotta be honest. To have something with that much power on tap is tempting. So this is also the first time I have seen a couple of bikes in the wild, these Ubcos. There's a bunch of these lined up here. Uh, really good utility style bikes. So you got two hub motors, a bunch of torque. Um, they are heavy. <laughs> so this is more like a lightweight electric scooter kind of thing. So it says on the little brochure down here, lightweight, 144 pounds. So to give you an idea of what that weight is like, the heaviest bike I have, I think would be the cargo bike and that's 70 some pounds. I can't remember the exact weight. I wanna say maybe 73 pounds, double the weight of the cargo bike that I have, but you've got a much bigger battery. Um, you actually just have basically pegs on there. So no pedaling expected or required on one of these because it's just not what they're made for. Uh, the Saran, there is there are a bunch of these floating around today. There's gonna to be a bunch more tomorrow when uh, Lunacycle shows up to have a race with a whole bunch of those. So that should be pretty cool. Unfortunately, I am gonna miss that. Otherwise, I'd try and capture a bunch of video footage of that. Probably the first race with those, I would imagine. So it'd also be interesting to see a race between something like a Sir Ron and the Stealth. I think that would be a pretty good matchup. So lots of interesting things going on here. Even though it's small, like I said, the, the big guns are out. Yeah, what's the battery capacity on this thing? Capacity is 2,000 kilowatt. 2,000 watt hours, 2 2000, kilowatt hours. 2,000 watt hours. Thank okay. You. Uh, trail riding gives you about four hours of, of trail ride capability, and that's actually going rollers. Okay, so track, up and down and climbing, and climbing. Descending. What else should we know about this B52? It's got way more power than what you'll need. <laughs> when you need it. it helps you to uh, to pedal it. You can pedal into certain sections to get you up and over uh, tricky sections. Uh, okay. You, you can pedal for the sake of pedaling and exercising while you're throttle assisting. Uh, well, that's a good question. On this gearbox, do you have any idea what the range on that thing is? It is it is a sequential, uh, eight speed. Because I didn't really try that when I was riding it because I didn't need it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, most, most folks are going to throttle through all the time until they get comfortable with it. Right, and, and then, then you... are going to add pedaling in after that point. Right, makes right. sense. Right, most folks don't... It's a motorcycle right off the bat, but after they get used to it... Then they start pedaling more. Then they more. start pedaling into it because they can feel... They, they can feel themselves adding to the experience by pedaling. And it's pushing through jumps pushing through uh, through climbs. Here's a good question for you. Okay. Because I saw it on the one bike I worked on before. Tell me about the chain. Why is it a halfling chain? Because of the torque, it keeps the, uh, it keeps stretch to, to the minimum. Okay. Yeah, but it, it functions exactly like a full length chain. Uh, you can change it. You can break it just like a full length chain. It's just, it's stronger, it reduces okay. stretch which for those watching who don't know what I'm talking about, let me get a close up for you. This is the chain style that I'm talking about. You don't see that on too many electric bikes. In fact, I haven't seen it on any actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know of any right. else that use it. Monster shock right there from DNM. 
I don't know what the part number or anything is. It's just big. <laughs> it is, right? Yes. Huge shock. Part number H U G E. <laughs> and do they all come with the half twist throttle? I heard you talking about that a little bit earlier today. Right. So all of our models, the P7, uh, the F37, and the H52, do come with half twist throttle or half half grip throttles. Okay. So it gives you plenty of purchase on the other side of the grip to put your hand so you don't whiskey throttle it. Right. That means inadvertently hitting it. Right. Um, this does have enough torque in it that when you do blip the throttle, it brings the front end up. It doesn't really matter how much you weigh, it's going to bring the front end up. I tested that. Ah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another, another cool feature on the Stealth is going to be our DC-1 uh, like computer a display. Exterior and then like uh, a we do have a code that you put in every time. Um, you can like disable it if you want, but for security it's a four-digit code, code that only the owner knows. Um, to open into the DC-1. It doesn't operate until you put that code in. Okay. And then you have different... Different... Uh, What's the control temperature on the left side? Is that like... A, are you setting a limit for the motor temperature? So or? this is this is what you want to... So the control temp and the motor temp are what you're going to want to be watching as you're... as you're... Uh, as you're... as you're riding. Uh, because, oh, it's the controller temperature. Yes. I just read it wrong. So okay. Cold, yeah, cold on the left, hot on the right. Okay. On both. Uh, there is a safety feature. If it gets too hot, uh, it will shut down the throttle. Okay. And we're showing battery volts at 81.6. Yeah. What is the voltage of this one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. We can look that up on the specs later, right? Okay. And is brake regen, is that how much you've generated By while using you're riding your, it? Right. By using your regeneration. Okay. So we got 1197 watt hours used, 33 watt hours regenerative, which makes perfect sense because they're not that efficient, but it's good for extra braking. It gives, yeah, it gives you some more useful and, and for it, saving brakes than it is for anything. You're taking, at least you're taking that heat and turning it into something. It may right. be a trickle, but it is something. Yeah. And then you have other adjustments through the screen. Well, the human is still going to be there. Okay. Oh, so you do have, you got a backlight and... Yeah, tire size if you want to adjust your, you want to put a different set of tires on here. Okay. Ooh, does it have a, it has a clock and does it work? Yeah. You'd be amazed how many people ask if I can have a clock that works on the screen and yeah, like 99% yeah. of them don't have it and they're like, I'd pay extra for a clock. Yeah, for sure. Here you go. You can get a clock. It's only going to cost you 10 grand. <laughs> yeah, and it comes right, with a bike. Right. Your, your choice of color. It's a deal. And this is the screen that you'll be riding in most of the time. There is a trip A, a trip B to let you know your total mileage, uh, your battery life, and then your efficiency setting. Uh, and then while you're riding this, where it says ready, will turn into your speed. So we got a two kilowatt hour battery. Do you know how fast it'll charge? I have done it in three hours, three and a half hours. Okay, so you must have a pretty beefy charger then. It's a beefy then. charger. It has a fan on it. <laughs> okay. Sweet. It we like it. Custom color options. You can get the, the frame painted in one color. You can get the, the accessories uh, painted in another. There is a premium charge for that, of course. Of course. So I got Chris from Eco Bike Adventures here. So just want to thank him for putting this on. And although my trip was short, it was awesome. We had a ton of fun with what time we've been here. So I just want you to tell people why they should come next year. Cause by the time this video gets out, this is going to be over. Yeah, for sure. We had a fun day today. It was the fourth annual. Uh, we, we do this race because uh, high powered bikes aren't represented in any genre of racing right now. And yeah. uh, we're really tired of just the class one stuff. And <laughs> we, I mean, we have adapted. We have all kinds of people. We had a one legged person race, you know, so. <laughs> awesome. You know, it's, it, Where else could you yeah, see that? <laughs> exactly. And so, you know, private land places to ride. So uh, yeah, it's a good time. We, we had some world class people out here and uh, it's uh yeah it's, it's a really good time we we do it to try and further the sport a little bit further and uh, we'd love to see a series we'd love to see this thing grow yeah we've been doing it for a long time i was partnering with bjorn anga in 2011 and we we ended up focusing on the experience side through eco bike adventures and uh -huh. so we do tours out here all year long we okay do, so people can basically rent out 
they sort come out and do a tour of their group family basically an club, exclusive company, thing for the whole whatever. ranch yeah, and... absolutely it's awesome. a good time and uh yeah that's really part of the exposure to get everybody out here you know yeah later brothers okay. thanks for coming <laughs> Awesome. Later. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, Rick. You're busy. OG right here. You got to get out of here. <laughs> Later, All right. Brothers. So we'll see you. Thank you. We're gonna tell people about it. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Come on out next year. It's a good time. Look us up at Eco Bike. And uh, yeah, if you have an event, we'll come see your event. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. All right.